Buenos dias, it's Skate Tales, and we're in Argentina, the city of Mendoza. I'm here to meet the Nomadic Skate Crew, No Hotels, and we're going on a road trip. Let's go. They're already skating. Hey, Chris! Good timing. Man! It's, good. it's been a while. Ah, good to see you, dog. Good to see you, too. Wow. Good to see you. It's been a while. Too long. Sick. Yes. Dante. Mendoza. The No Hotels crew are skateboarding's true road dogs. These Floridians are on a mission to experience the world through skateboarding in the most rudimentary way living simply, making art, camping where they can, and filming their experiences on cool old cameras along the way. While some skate teams stay in luxury hotels and travel like rock stars, the no hotels approach is a refreshing contrast, with the crew preferring the spontaneity and adventure of the open road. I had to find out more about what makes these rippers tick, so I joined them on an 800 kilometer skate mission in Argentina to get a sense of their skateboarding life lived with just a single rule, no hotels. So what brings you guys to Argentina? I was uh, visiting some family. I'm from here, I'm from Mendoza, uh -huh. and uh, I've been living in the States for 20 years, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We're like, we all have grown up together, and we're doing the trip as like the first international, like no hotels trip, and yeah. you know, check out Argentina. We would skate together all the time, and it's just like, dude, you guys have to come to the promised land, my motherland, like, like he, he's been so excited for this trip for so long, and yeah, it's, it's extra special to, to make it happen. Did you see that? Power slide out. Back him up, back him up. Catching the last rays of sun, full pipe session with the boys. No hotels, skate tails, take 11. So No Hotels, crew of homies in Orlando, we were filming for the Plus Skate Shop video. Did a whole year uh, filming in the mountains. 
basically there's 10 of us. Half the crew camped the entire trip, half the crew stayed in hotels. So we had a hotels crew and we had a no hotels crew. So we were like, what's the name of the video gonna be called? And uh, no hotels is what we called it. No hotels is just a crew of guys that keeps getting larger and larger that we just go on trips and kind of throw away the itinerary, just have a point A and point B and make it work with uh, just camp, mostly camping, but it's also a lot of staying at homies' houses and it's just traveling. All, all over though, mostly United States. You have States. a Yeah, skateboarding. Uh, no Hotels is basically just a band of brothers, basically, and we love to travel and skate and we love to do that experience together. It's like the ideology of how we want to skate and live and express ourselves and explore the world freely. It's time. We gotta clean the spot before we skate it. That's how it goes with the ditches. You got a piece of wood, use your skateboard, shovel, hands. Work in a team. Chris's board just hit me in the, what? <laughs> hit me in the face, but uh, it'll be alright. can't make it up, you just can't do it. <laughs> you know, you gotta have a budget to go on a skate trip. So for us, getting all the homies together and like going on a trip with basically nothing, making something out of nothing, camping made it happen because you gotta have a few hundred dollars together to stay in a hotel room or stay somewhere, Airbnb. So you cut that out, the budget's wide open. We were skating the ditch and got carried away a little bit. Now it's getting dark and we gotta find a place to stay. And you know, it's not gonna be a hotel. I'd say we have more of like a Bargetron mentality. We kind of just go for it, but we've learned a lot and we've definitely learned from our mistakes. We're not, uh, we're not scared to get in trouble, but there's definitely been times where uh, we pushed our luck. You gotta watch your back because sometimes we camp in somewhere that is way more dangerous than we realized. We do a lot of renegade camping, which is harder to do outside of America, camping somewhere and asking for forgiveness instead of permission. One of our favorite things to do, we all have our own pop-up tents. You unzip the bag and you throw the tent in the air and... Oh. I would not say we're expert campers. I think we're a lot better at roughing it than, than mastering the art of camping itself. Like, it seems to be more so that we're just down to barge it. How many dudes does it take to put together one tent?
got to do the morning wash, you know, before we head into the day. And did I mention it's really hot? But we're driving cross country from the west to the east. We have super, super broad timeline or super broad game plan and we go for it. And it's, it's one of those things too, it's like, it's a reason to hit up all the people across the country that you wanted to hit up. We're gonna go to Cordoba and meet Johnny. He lives in the countryside, he's a hippie, plays the skate guitar, skates a little stick. It's gonna be epic, trust me. Last night when we arrived, it was so dark, you couldn't see nothing. Waking up to the beautiful mountains, swimming pool, concrete park. Johnny's house is epic. So Johnny, what is this place? A place, beautiful place in Cordoba, in the mountains. It's my home now. Five years live here. And why did you choose here, this place? Es muy verde, muy tranquilo. Soy de downtown Buenos Aires y hace cinco años quise cambiar un poco el panorama y elegí este campo. Y esto es una locura que nació en pandemic. Estaba trabajando en, en hacer la pileta, el swimming pool, y sobraban algunas maderas y dije, bueno, vamos a ver si le ponemos unos tracks. Inconscientemente es una especie de mensaje que, bueno, que uno puede andar con ganas porque muchos chicos dicen no tengo las, los shoes buenos o un, una tabla buena y esto es un poco también si tenés ganas puedes andar con lo que quieras y puedes mm. progresar con lo que quieras imagina que yo lo hago a los 49 años me imagino que un chico lo puede hacer con mucha más facilidad con 20 so it doesn't really matter what you skate huh yeah as long as it's got trucks wheels any kind of wood goes Music. Todo es music. Todo. El skate es music. Claro. Oh my God, Johnny was definitely a highlight of this trip because of how unique he is. And I mean, it's, it's kind of the epitome of like making something out of nothing. We meet people and have like meaningful, long lasting engagements with other people that like, hey, this guy's down to let you guys all crash at his house. We went there, we had the best time and end up making a friend for life. We go on these trips, we meet people, like, it's not like, oh yeah, you're gonna show us around, we'll see you in the morning. It's like, yeah, we're gonna be piled out in your backyard, like, waking up, hopefully you got a swimming pool we can jump in real quick, like, and then let's get the day started. Like, you're with us full time if you're showing us around, you know? But man, all the asados and just all the people that we met along the way and everything, and just, I just feel very welcomed here. Uh, and it's it's really been amazing. Everybody's been so hospitable and, and there's been so much culture that I really didn't know that we were gonna experience on this trip. What an incredible place. The swimming pool, the park, the guitars, the thunderstorm last night. Whew! Did you film that? It was one hour of thunderstorm last night. Homie Stens got pushed 100 meters away. Thank you so much, Johnny, for hosting us. 
But now we must go. Where to, we don't know. Being on the road, like not knowing exactly where you're going to be, uh, definitely has that the sense of uh, freedom and adventure. But it's like it's controlled chaos. Just the beauty of exploration, even if it's outside of your own town, is really eye-opening and good for your brain. Like, it doesn't get much better than this. The beauty in the road, you've got to see it to believe it. If you're not, if you're not in it, you're not going to win it. If you're not out putting yourself out there, you're just going to be watching it from your computer screen. The spirit of the open road you don't even realize it's there. You're just having the time of your life with your friends. And my advice to people that haven't been on like a trip like that or anything, or like haven't been on a skate trip or been on a road trip, you don't really need anything. We made a quick pit stop. And on that pit stop, we got tipped off about a hill bomb because uh, we had one of the guys skate, was just warming up, skating flat in traffic, and the guy was like, oh, I know a spot with no cars, way better for you, so we hopped in, took his, took his word for it, and showed up here, and led us to a couple good hill bombs, and it dumped us right out to a perfect little swimming rock spot, so can't really beat it, on the fly. Looking for skate spots in the wild. <laughs> Should I try Wally up? There's been some phone calls made, and turns out Johnny's homie Lucho has got a place for us. He's got a mini ramp, a countryside house, and it's just outside of Cordoba City. Got woken up by the sun, had to look for the shade. Found the shade next to the ramp. Here, look at this. You, before you go on a skate trip, you you do that mental checklist in your head. You're like, do I have this? Do I have this? Do I have this? And Evan was one person in our crew that was really good about just kind of being like, nothing matters. Just go for it. Like, pack light. Pack light is a huge piece of advice. Get away from people. Like, try and get far enough away to where you're comfortable and you have your own zone. Find soft ground. Find soft ground and, and don't sleep next to the homie that snores super gnarly. That, that is the best tip I can give. Bring some type of like soap or something, something to wash your hands with, because you may not see a bathroom for several days sometimes. My tip to give you would <laughs> to be, keep your stuff locked up, watch your back, make sure everybody else is watching your back. Safety in the renegade camp style is, is more important than like anything. Skateboarders dive into cities harder than any other group of people on the planet on planet Earth. I, I genuinely believe that. Like we, we go into cities without an itinerary. We go in and we just barge it. We, we end up f me talking to the locals. Maybe maybe the locals tell us somewhere to stay. We end up on some crazy cliffside. But had we looked it up two weeks in advance online, we would have stayed at some campsite you would have had to pay for, or stayed at a hotel like most people. Thank you for hosting. I know it looks like Germany, but it's actually outside of Lucho's house in Argentina. 
First spot of the day, straight to jumping. And they're running up from the inside. Good morning, Wes. That's my friend Wes, 2014 Skater of the Year, Wes Brink. Ah, boring, boring. <laughs> Come on. Thanks ah. for your good memory. Skateboarding to me is, yeah, exactly what I was saying, expanding that family tree. I think when I was younger, skateboarding to me was so much like, you go out, you try and film tricks. And that's kind of been thrown out the window ever since we've kind of created this this group of friends that we have now to where, like this crew that, that we have, it's just, it's more so about just getting out and like making memories. What is skateboarding to me? The, the friends that you meet are like the people that end up like shaping you and your, your life in general. and. Uh, yeah, friends, friends and freedom, yeah. Skateboarding to me is something that either you pick it up and you never put it down and it's yours or it's not. So uh, ever since I started skating, I, I've never looked back. It's our excuse to see the world, you know? If it wasn't for skating, I wouldn't have done all the traveling that I've done. <laughs>